Hey guys, how's it going? I want to show you some things today. We're going to be checking the piston to cylinder wall clearance on your chainsaws. Okay, we're going to be using telescopic gauge. Stare it. It's good. One to two mic. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because I was having problems with this. This is at 372 from hell. Okay, a lot of problems with this piston. I'll explain. It's too tight. Like, it's not machined properly. Like, the skirt here, but right here to here was like flared out. Okay, and I seen Tin Man and Iron Horse they had problems with their saws where they actually had saw failures as a result of the piston being too tight. This didn't blow yet. I, I saved it just in time. Okay. Now, okay here. Let's mic this up. Let's do the cylinder. Okay. Okay, when you want to mic this up, set your telescopic gauge. We're going to measure in a couple spots, not just one. Zoom in there. Okay. I was a machinist for four years, so I understand how to do all this stuff. Okay. Okay, make sure it's centered. Feel it, and then just... Okay. Might have to do it a couple times. Okay, let's see. You can see in there. Coming up with two inch... Probably two tenths over. Two inch... 48 thousandths, okay? Probably roughly about two tenths over. Okay, let's do it again. Just take a little feel to do, okay? Go like this, spin it like, make sure it's centered. Okay. Like that. Takes a special feel to get this. Yeah, come up about with the same thing, okay? And I already did, this is all my measurements here that I did. Okay, the cylinder is 2 inch 048. Okay, we're going to go down in here. Same deal. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Make sure you feel it and just bingo. Let's see if we got it. It's a smidge. It's probably. Let's check it again. Just okay. Just... Okay. Let's go back. Takes a special feel to get this, okay? Okay. Yeah, we're pretty much the same here. Almost. Okay. There's the measurements there. So we know we're about two inch 048 plus two, maybe, maybe four tenths. Okay. Now this is in metric. Convert it over to decimal. I'm gonna show you how you do that. Now how you do that, you take 52 millimeters. Okay, divide by 25.4 equals 2, two inch 047. Because what that is, that 25.4 is your 1 inch equal in metric. Okay, 25.4 is equivalent to 1 inch. Okay, that's how you convert. You, all you do is multiply if you want to change it back. Okay, so here we go. Let's check the piston. It takes a little bit of, uh, I'm going to check in a couple spots here. Make sure you don't, this little feel, okay, right here, that's saying, two inch, two inch 045. You'd be careful with these pistons when you do that because you can like get your mics caught. Okay, let's do it again. Let's go a little higher up. Let's see what we got. 
Okay. Right there, two inch 045. Okay. Now we know this is a skirt. Okay, two inch 045. That's at the skirt clearance. We're going to check up at the ring land. Okay. We got. Pretty close. Let's see. I want to see. Get just right. Pretty close to two inch 042. Okay. Now, how you figure out your clearance? Okay. Is let's add this up. We know 2.048. That's the size that the cylinder is that we might. Okay. The skirt clearance. Subtract. 2.045, three thousandths. So I know this skirt from here to about, you know, here to here is three thousandths clearance. That's perfect, okay? And up here, obviously, you know, you subtract that, that's six thousandths. That's, that is perfect, okay? Now what I did to, to change this now you can't really chuck this up in the lathe because what's going to happen is this is spinning. Your sandpaper is going to catch. See, see how that piston shape? It's going to catch right here. It's going to go boop, 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 boop. How I did it. Now it's not conventional. I just took this sandpaper. I went here. I knew it was high here, so I just went a little bit. I got about a year of bench time, so I know what I'm doing. I did this, sanded it, took my took my time. I kept miking it, because this piston was about oh, almost two thousandths bigger. Which, if you go by two thousandths, that's only one thousandth clearance. And when it's got hot, it would almost season the bore. So there's my problem. So that's what you want to do on these, just. If it were around, well, this one, yeah, you can't really sand because you got right here, too. So you got to take your time when you sand. You got to figure out where your high spots are and your low and just work it. Just take your time. I used this 120 sandpaper, and I used this two, 220. And I just took my time. I just polished it. Just took me, I don't know. Took me about a half hour to do it, but I just did it, and this is what we come up with. Perfect. All chamfered up. But yeah, so you want to watch out for if you do these. Uh, you want to check your cylinder clearance, and you want to check your piston size. And all you do, like I says, you subtract the size of your cylinder minus. The size of your piston and that will give you your clearance. Does that make sense guys? Yeah, so this thing should be beautiful. I know my 660, that's 100% complete success. It's actually getting a little scary to run. <laughs> I'm serious, I'm thinking about getting chaps when I run that because it's, if I got, I don't have too much big wood like some of that smaller wood, heck, by the time I run it full throttle, it's like, holy smokes. But I'm really learning about intakes and how to adjust intakes, how to get power out of them, how to get torque. It's really, really helping. Okay, there's... Yeah, I rehoned that. Took all the scratches. There's my intake that I did. Obviously can't. There's just a wee tiny lung design in there. I can't do much because the uh, it would interfere with the piston skirt. That's just the way this. Uh, see if it'll show up here. Tight nickel cylinder was so. The the port was a little bit too high casted on this. Nothing I could do. So. So yep. Beautiful, beautiful. Should be a nice, nice runner. But I just, I just show you just for, for giggles here. Let's check this. 
This is that piston that came in the kit. I couldn't use it because the pin was exposed and the ring would go boop and pop right out. So here we go. Let's measure this up just for fun. Like I said, make sure you don't guide your pistons up when you do it. Real slow, get a nice little drag there, just feel it. You feel a little drag, okay? Same clearance as this, so we're perfect. So I don't know why these 272 pistons, I don't know if it's the tolling. I don't know if they're, I really don't know what's going on. But yeah, this thing was like, I'll exaggerate it, okay. From here to here, it was like, it was like ramped. You know, it's just exaggerated, like tapered like that. And, but I fixed it. So, polished her up pretty good. That's about a 60 thou pop up I put in this. The, it's got about a hundred thousandths from general roll, the thinnest you want to go on your uh, piston here to your ring is about 70. Because you could pop this off, it'll be done. But uh, I got a hundred thousandths. There was other piston brands out there, but they didn't look like they had enough uh, here to do that to. I don't feel like machine in the inside of this pist or this cylinder. So, so there you go, guys. Hope that was useful for you guys. Like I said, hey, I'm learning as I go, man. I mean, I'm learning from Tin Man, Iron Horse, all them saw porters. I'm learning a lot. J and S chainsaw. Uh, you know, some of the other guys, Bell Hopper, and it's what I do when I want to get into something. I start out slow. And then I, that's how I did small engines, that's how I worked on cars, and I'm like, really good. That's how I did machinists, I actually learned on the job, I just figured it out. I was pretty smart. But, I'm really catching on to all this stuff, chainsaw stuff. But, uh, until next time guys, keep feeling the heat.